How's it going, y'all? Titan Smash MTG, and today we're here from Standard 2022 action. This is my first time playing this format, and I'm very excited. Uh, I have not got to dip my toes into this at all quite yet. I had the early access event where we just played regular Standard, so you've seen all those videos. I appreciate all the support on that. But it turns out Standard 2022 is actually getting a lot of popularity. People have really been enjoying it from what I could tell. And they don't have a play version, so it's all ranked, which is one thing that's kind of iffy because you can't really test decks out, so... We're going to throw this out there, and the first deck here I wanted to show you here is some Naya Bard. So this, is, this list comes from my buddy TJ. This is kind of his list. He sent me a very, very nice standard version of this deck, uh, which was even better because it had so many things at the free drop slot where you just have all these one-mana spells to play after you play Bard class. However, I wanted to play a 2022 version since that seems to be the hotness right now, so I edited this up a little bit. But essentially, what you want to do with this deck is on turn two, you hope to play Bard class here. Two mana enchantment, legendary creatures you control into the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on them. Uh, on turn three, you want to pay the two mana to make legendary spells cost red and green less to cast. Uh, and that way, say next turn, on turn three, you activate this, you pay the two mana, then you just pay a white mana and you get a one mana Minsk. They, uh, this and its uh, boo creature token both into the battlefield with one one counter on them. So very nice there. And then you're looking at three mana to Yasharn, three mana Cold Vori. You know, all these things are a little bit cheaper here and super, super nice. Uh, we're playing two Drizzt Jordan, uh, one Inferno of the Star Mounts, one Vorinclex, and one Pylath at the very top of the curve here. Uh, mana base, you know, this is 2022, so we have no more Temples, no more Fable Passages. Very simple stuff here. Didn't want to put any of the creature lands in here because our first few turns are very important. But after that, you know, a lot of these times, like, we really need these lands coming untapped, so that's what we have. Um... So is this good or not? I don't know. I don't know what this format really is. So let's take this in there, see how it goes. Let's go. All right. First game of the day here is against the Brit. Let's see how it goes. On the play, started off. Oh, we got the bar class, some innkeeper. Uh, excited to play this. Excited for some standard 2022. I've heard a lot of good things about this. Uh, I, did get, I didn't really play this in the early access when we had this, and I'm not going to play much since then. So uh, excited to see how this goes. Uh, so we're going to drop a bar class here. For those of you who don't know this again, we drop this down, legendary creatures in the battlefield, the plus one, plus one counter. I could also do innkeeper here, and I think that's actually where we want to be here. Um, just because if I do bard class here, unless I drew a Minsk, I've got nothing to play on turn three to go alongside it. Here, I'm guaranteed to be able to play the Seekers Chariot, which would be pretty nice. Vorn clicks the draw. Yeah, I think we just cash in on this uh, Seekers Chariot here. Uh, have a way to block this pack leader if we need to. Should be pretty good. Game two life also is kind of nice. I do think bar class here should be pretty sick, though. Definitely is not a good hit for right here compared to regular standard, where you have Cloythus and Rada and uh, the two mana one that goes burr. See what we got here, though. Plenty of mono green, which I think is like one of the better decks in this format, from what I've seen so far. Opponent with the Blizzard Brawl. Uh, that doesn't make much sense to me, because that seems like the worst thing that you could have fought there, but more power to you. Innkeeper's a card, like, we, you know, we play it because it puts the treasure down on turn two. Otherwise, though, we don't really care about the life gain. So, we're fine with that. Let's follow up here, Ranger Class. Another great card from this set. Ranger Class just goes right into these kind of lists. Uh, no fourth land here is kind of a bummer. Uh... I guess we just play Bard class here. I don't really think it's super worth it to play Jaspera Sentinel, but maybe we do and just have a body on the field. Also, this guarantees us we have the four mana for next turn or possibly five mana for Drizzt. Uh, this kind of sucks. I really wanted to be able to draw some lands here. But let's go ahead and do this. Now the shields are down, I can get in with a Seekers Chariot, copy, make another Kitty Cat, and pass the turn. Can also double block this pack leader if they attack in and they don't level up their ranger class. Okay, they got a chariot of their own. This might be a grindy game here. Very unfortunate about the man to start it off with, but it's okay. We're gonna get through it, baby. We're gonna get through it. We got some big old, big old strong cards in hand. Pawn attacks in here. I could double block. Do I want to do that? I think I do. Like, you really just wanted to trade your wolf pack leader for despair setting? Oh, okay. Fine by me. There's a land. So. Are we just playing Toski? 
That white man of the plains definitely throwing us off a little bit right now. I think we just get in there and attack. If they want to double block here and trade, or we just trade chariots, I'm totally fine with that. Because they're doing this on the defensive end, I'm getting the value here by making my tokens while swinging. Okay, no blocks. Draw a card, okay. We got Dresit Druden coming down this next turn. And it's not Drizit, it's Dritz. Because there's no IT there, or there's no I there. Dritz Druden! Sorry if that's just not right at all. I gotta say, from doing all these D&D sets, I've had a lot of people in my comments correcting me on these card names, but nobody's been rude about it. Or told me how I'm just absolutely butchering anything, so that's felt very nice. I have had people definitely tell me that I was wrong on some stuff, which is totally fair. Um, man, it's only two to level that up. That's really good. See what they got. Okay. So this Drizzet will be nice for the Seagus Chariot if the opponent goes. Okay, best turn. Uh, because it can crew chariot by itself, so let's just play Drizzt. We're not even getting, we're not even using Bard class right now, but we will have a game where we can show how strong it is. But yeah, yeah, baby, good first game here. Let's go ahead and play another. Let's go. Game number two against AFK for pie. I will also go AFK for some pie. Uh, so you turn two ring here. I don't really love that. Yeah, ooh, this this has potential to be really good. Let's just second bard class here. We can go turn one sentinel, turn two bard class, turn three level it up, and play Minsk. If all works out well here, so this could end up being pretty nice. Let's see what happens. Falca, there goes my Minsk. No. That makes me a sad panda. Well, the good news is if they, you know, they spend the three mana to make it a 3-3, three, three, they don't get the hamster. So, I mean, that's not a huge deal. We did draw the land we needed to. That sucks. Play versus draw, but it is what it is. They would have they got it on the, if we play anyway, so. Man, should I just attack here? I'll hold back, but... More than likely, they just pay, pay the three here, and we're just missing out on a point of damage here. So I guess I probably should have attacked. Okay. Again, they don't get the three three here, so that part is nice. Land. So we'll go ahead and just level this up for now. And now we're getting to the point where I can still play this Reinhardt Ringheart Crest. And the beautiful thing about this is we just name about anything on here. Um, we can pick we can pick a creature type, but it really doesn't matter because we're just playing legendary spells. So I guess technically I should do it on Elf, so that way if I draw a Despair Sentinel, I could cast them off of those two. So now we're starting to get cook them with gas a little bit here. If they can hit us for three again, that's totally fine. This is just so refreshing to play these new cards and not to worry about all the pest of standards past. So I could play Innkeeper and then play... Um, yeah, I can play Innkeeper and then play uh, Asika's Chariot, so let's do that. Oh, it's not a creature. So we're going to have to burn this token here. Well, I guess we can just tap that. We're not going to block with these anyway. Let's just do this. Save that, save that treasure token just in case we need it. Uh, spoiler alert for me. I didn't realize uh, Ringheart Crest can't actually cast a Seekers Chariot since it's the artifact and not a creature. Well, it's looking like this next turn we may be spending leveling up Bark Class to level 5. But then the value we should get from this should be pretty stupid. See if they attack here. 
So I know full and well they probably have a removal spell here, but I'm going to bait it out of them. Because the they're, they're going to hold it up one way or another anyway, so I'd rather them use it on their turn. Probably like a Heartless Act or something. Unless maybe they thought they could pump their Minsk. Okay, so they have Belfer Mastery. Uh, good news here, that's four of their five mana right there, so that's fine. I mean, this isn't a race they're going to win. Another bar class. Uh, I think we just level this up to level three here, and from here just get to get to swinging. Uh, yeah, let's just get swinging. Again, this is a race that we can win. Now we need to draw some legendaries off the top, and we should be able to go crazy. I don't see a way Rakdos would have an answer to Bard class. And they are not afraid to get in here with that Minsk. I love it. I guess you could say we're Minsk beat. Oh no! That is so bad for us. Well, let's play a free... How can we recover from this? Play this for free. Okay, Kolvori. We like that. Play this for three. Oh my god, this deck is gas. This deck is gas. I can't believe we didn't draw a land out of all that. That's kind of insane. Um, I guess let's play the Sentinel here. Orcus ruined us there, but free, free spells to rebuild with is pretty nice. Okay. It's not too bad. They're down to one card in hand now. So I can block with just spare Sentinel. I mean, is this okay? Weird play. Maybe they have like a discard spell? No. Okay, well we can play Stare of the Star Mounts. Uh, I guess Terror is what we have to do now. Okay, I can play this. I can tap something with Spare Sentinel and then still be able to play Inferno. There's a land, so. Do we have Lethal here? Six, seven, eight, nine. We're so close to having Lethal here. All right. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One point from Lethal. Meh. I will send in with these. Act. Uh, send with these. Actually, that was really stupid on my part. Uh, I should have held Despair Sentinel back because it has reach. Uh, so if they draw a removal spell with this Inferno, we do die now. One time. Don't have it. Don't have it. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five mana. Please, please don't do it. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Is that a good game that I'm dead or a good game I win? Let's go. All right. Bar class got to pop off that game. That was a lot of card draw, a lot of selection there. That was sweet. 2-0, oh, baby. Let's go. I'm on the draw again. Sick hand, though. Very sick hand. I love this. Let's go. This is just so refreshing. Not have to worry about rogues. I mean, I guess rogues still exist here. Um, okay. So, we'll play Despair Sentinel here. I'm assuming this is probably Prismari Dragons. They get the Fjord. The Fjord. Okay, another Snarl. Um. So, I can play Magda here. Make two mana and play the the right the crest seems really good. Or I can play the oh I can play Bard class. Okay, this is like the premier mm, premier start that you want with this deck. And now this next turn I can play Minsk and play I can level up Bard class and play Minsk for one mana. Maybe they'll foretell something again here. That'd be really nice. Or if you want to kill my Magda, that's fine. Okay. Okay. So let's drop a white source here. 
level up the bard class, and then one mana, one mana, one time, one mana, one time, the beloved ranger, and the little hamster boy. And now we can go and play Ringheart Crest as well. Just really get all this mana rep out that we can. Maybe I want to hold on to this. Eh. Yeah, I think I'd rather have the Kalvori. Because that's going to be a big body here with all these legendary creatures. And I think Kalvori is just a little bit more important for us. Okay, I like to see iteration here. That's really nice. Okay. Play that. Cool. Yashan. Um, what's better here? I think Kalvori, because this is going to be big. Yes, yeah, 7-7. Seven, seven. Don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead. We just attack all here. They are down to 10. We got a big old board. The Kalvori should outlive any kind of sweeper if they had one. If they had like a draconic intervention. That's game. Let's go. Bard class is sick. This is so good. 3-0. and oh. Let's keep it going. Wow. All right. Next game here is against Alaheim. Let's see if we can take it to Alaheim. Saying it, Chief. Uh, this hand ramps a lot. On the draw again. Okay, Delina is a card. Curious how Delina is in this format where there's no stomps rolling around, so maybe. Mono green, so we have to worry about Blizzard Brawl, but. Do I just go double innkeeper this turn? Play four mana worth of spells on turn two? I think I do. I don't think mana's gonna be a problem for us here. Gain some life. Veil vale into Ranger class. Get used to seeing this, go. And they swing for three. Ranger class is so good with this because you do the, like you you put your werewolf down, you play Ranger class. And the next turn, you don't even have to like play another creature. You just level up Ranger class, and you're all right. Um, I think I'd rather save this treasure for now. Let's go ahead and play a Delina. Gain a little bit of life here. Pass the turn. Can we please not have any Blizzard Brawl? One time. I'm asking you as a friend. Give me that streamer look. I watch my other play. I watch a lot of people play. And I'm sure y'all think this when you watch my videos sometimes too. But you ever, you ever feel like you watch other people play? And not that they're like competition sucks or anything. Because that's like a bad way of wording it. But it seems like their opponents just never have it. But then, like, you play against it, and it's just like they're doing the most busted things imaginable. Uh, speaking of which, they're going to draw a card here. Pack leader is so good. Okay, let's draw an actual spell. Okay, because I'll do Mammoth. Spell? That's a spell. That is a spell. I guess we just play, oh, Vyorin Clicks. And I think this shuts... I don't know if it shuts down their class or log, because they don't get counters on it. It just levels up. We'll gain two life. I guess we're attacking here. I'll try to race this. I'm not sure how that'll go. Maybe I should be holding that Born Clicks back, but there's no fear in this dojo. Maybe I should have held it back. But if I hold it back, they just play a land, Brizzard Brawl, and then we just lose our Born Clicks. Big swings. They draw a card. I'll chump this Kazandu Mammoth. We'll take five. Go to 11. Jesus, come on. Magda. Well, I think so far this has probably shown the difference of having bar class and not having bar class. Um, the mana reduction is super nice on bar class, but also you saw that chapter three on it, or that level three on it, was so huge when we were able to just get through so many cards in our deck and just pump out all these creatures here. Not be able to do that this game. We're definitely suffering. I'm going to swing here anyways, but I think we're probably dead.
but I think we have to play to our outs here, and our outs are jump walking away here, and then having hitting something like a uh, a terror of Mount Velus or something like that. Okay, no blocks. Got him down to eight. You are past the ten. By the way, that werewolf has drawn them, I think, three cards. So, you know, a normal mono green deck would be empty handed right now. But they have just got to get so much value out of this thing. So they level it up. Okay, so I guess it does get to level up there. So. Basically, we're in trouble. 5, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I have to block one creature here. I guess I just chose... Oh, okay. Yeah. So you might as well swing with everything. Uh, did they put... Oh, so... So they can level up Ranger class, but Vornclex does stop them from getting the counter on there. So that's kind of nifty. Um, so I block this. Oh, I do want to make sure I kill something here, I guess. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to just leave Despair Sentinel back. Like, just block one of these, go to a really low life total. If I can do this and make a treasure, so yeah, we're, we're live for the terror. Unless they draw something to reach, terror is lethal. Wait, well, yeah, I guess I can just chump. Well, Vornclex has trampled, though. Well, that's probably game, folks. Oh, and they got the old growth troll? Yeah, GG. Well well done, well played. All right. Let's go play one more game with this. Still three and one, so we'll have a winning record no matter what. Three and one, let's play one more. All right, y'all. Last game of the day against Dun. Three, four, four. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, we finally get to be on the play. This hand's not explosive, explosive, but this is still Prosperous Innkeeper into a Yasharn, which is nice. Or we could go Magda, depending on the matchup here, but Prosperous Innkeeper is safer. Okay, a snow covered plains for opponent. I could go Targnar here. Uh but I think Prosperous Innkeeper is a play. Now I can go Targnar into Magda and just get really aggressive really fast here. Okay, green white. Sculptor Winter. Yeah, now I think I definitely like going wide here. Uh, green. Actually, I can't. Well, yeah, we can. We have the treasure. I could just play a Sharn to make sure I get more lands. Kind of thin this deck out a little bit. I don't know. There, there's ways to go both ways there. Maybe I'm supposed to play Targnar. Maybe I'm supposed to play Magda. If they're a snow deck, I doubt they're very fast. So let's go ahead and do this for now. Let's hope they just kind of don't have the nuts on us. But I also kind of like playing Yasharn here because it's a creature. It's going to be hard for them to block, I would imagine, on this next turn. So I can play Toski. Okay. Just kidding. Just kidding about that getting through cleanly. Uh, we draw into land anyway. Well... Now we just go a little bit wider, I guess. So play Targnar, play Magda. Gaining some life here, always nice. And I think I'm just gonna hold the t hold, like pass back. We'll happily trade you, Sharn. Okay. Now they can crew a Seekers Chariot. This is annoying. This is actually really annoying. Come on!
They've done so much this turn. <sighs> that sucks. Well, note to self for anybody playing in this format, um, even though this is standard 20, 2022 and Eldraine is rotated, there's still some busted stuff you can do because that was insane. Now I can't even really afford to attack here. And I'm just flooding. 13 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep. That'll happen. Let's play one more. I don't want to go out like that. Let's play one more. Let's go. Next game. <laughs> Next game is against Day 9. Sean. On the draw yet again. Uh, don't think Sean needs an introduction. What a terrible hand, by the way. Of course, we're playing the streamer and we get a terrible hand. This hand, though... Let's even get it done. But day nine, one of the absolute absolute best people in the business. Drop a hello to him. Just such a good attitude when he plays the game. Hilarious, fun to watch. Okay, well, it's a good start for us. Possibly go bar class in the Minsk. Maybe he's playing Jory Ruins though. Don't ruin our fun, Sean. Oh, there's Despair Sentinel showing up a little bit late. Let's drop down the bar class. Don't you draw me. Negate. No. Oh. Well, that's not cool, man. See what kind of deck he's playing. I guess it's just control. I think we kind of just got to throw everything down we can here. So let's go ahead and drop the innkeeper first. If he wants to burn a counter on this, I don't really care. Lundy Vision. Okay. And there's a Doom Score. That's kind of unfortunate, too. Uh, I still think I play the Despair Sentinel and try to bait that out. Because next turn, I can play Chariot. So I kind of hope he Doom Scores here. Oh, I wonder what that was. Um. I think I play Chariot into this. This is going to feel kind of bad because I'm sure he's on a Doom Scar, but we'll still have our Chariot left over. So I think this is what we have to do here. Trigger, trigger. We're definitely not going to, definitely not going to tap anything to play Targnar. So let's see if we eat the Doom Scar here. If he's very, very patient. Yeah, there's a Doom Scar. Okay. Mock is not terrible. So let's play Minsk. Okay, Minsk resolves. Magda. And now we can crew chariot with Magda, which is really nice. Make a treasure. Swing for five. And even though I don't I can't make a token of or I can't make a, to a copy of the hamster because it's legendary, but I can make another treasure token, so that's kind of nice. A Seeker Chariot, best ramp, spot, ramp card in the game. I can't talk right now. Okay, we got him down to 13. Oh. Okay, we'll just casually mill half of our library here. Yasharn's not a bad card. It does Crew Chariot. So we'll grab this. Play this. Crew this up. Um... Why? Why can't we buff our hamster right now? Four, five, seven, eight. I don't. Oh, because of Yasharn. Because of Yasharn, we can't do it. Yasharn says we can't sack uh, sack things to pay for cost. So we keep making mana. We can't really use the mana right now. That's actually pretty awkward. But if there's a board wipe, we got mana for days. All right, so let's hope we uh, avoid a Doom Scar here one more time. Actually, even I think we're good because if he just board wipes us again, we can still play Targnar and then we're down to seven cards in hand. 
No more blue mana, though, so maybe we're good. Let's go. All right, we beat day nine. Uh, four and two with this deck. This was sweet. Let's go and take a look at this thing one more time. Let's go. All right, y'all, four and two with this so far, so not too bad. This was actually a lot of fun, and this format seems pretty sweet. Uh, definitely look forward to exploring this some more. So our, my next few videos will probably be some uh, standard 2022 action. So keep an eye on that. Uh, thoughts on the deck, though. Bar class is super, super good. Uh, the games where I had this compared to where I didn't have it made a whole, whole lot of difference there. Especially that level three. Like, five mana seems like a lot just to put into something. Uh, but you just take over a game so fast once you get this rolling off there. So I think it's definitely worth it there. Uh, Tardinar, reasonable replacement. Nice to play this for free off of bar class, which we got to do before. Uh, but yeah, just a lot of ramp in this deck. We get to play some of these bigger creatures without much trouble. Mana base felt pretty fine. I never felt like I was ever searching for mana super hard or missing the colors. So, the deck seems sweet. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, y'all. See you next time. Let's go.